There's no news like good news, and there's plenty of it at the Best Western Cairncroft as the community rallies around the 23rd annual Good News Breakfast. We partnered up with Project Share, which is an amazing organization in Niagara Falls. They help families around the region, um, provide them with a lot of assistance like food. For instance, they're giving them toys for the holiday season. They provide transportation if families don't have it to things like doctor's appointments. Uh, last year around the holiday season alone, actually, they helped put food on the table for over 4,700 people. So just as a big reminder of how important things like the Good News Breakfast are because there are a lot of people who need our help and this is a great really fun way there's activities you get to meet a lot of people the breakfast smells delicious so it's just a really great way to kind of partner up but then also draw attention to uh, giving back to the community and people helping out. What is it about the Good News Breakfast that actually brings the community together each and every year? I think again it's that magic of Christmas. People want to give, they want to share, you know, they're the less fortunate our community and people want to help them out. They want to make sure that they have food and that they have toys under their tree. For those who still want to donate to Project Share, what are your wish items this year? Oh, our wish items are food, monetary donation, toys, especially toys for the older children. People always think maybe of that little truck or the doll, but they don't think of the 14 to 16 year olds. They also want to have something under their tree too. And we're going to be open right till 4.30 on Christmas Eve. So anybody who would like to stop by Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, we'd love to see them. We are extremely blessed in our community that the need is there and the community gives. Now, what does this event actually mean to the students of your school? I think it's very important for the students because it gives them that opportunity to give back to other people who are in need and it makes them feel very good about what they've done. Uh, the students, once again, we, we have things coming in every day and we, we weigh it every day and we have contests in the school so the kids know that there's something there that for their class maybe. But most important, it's that act of giving, and it's a special time of year to do that. Katie Ann, I hear that you have brought some good news to the Good News Breakfast. What is it this year? I raised $805 for Project Share. And how did you do that? Well, I got all my friends from Victoria School, and I sell tickets. So every so, um, so we all did a little thing that we all wanted to do, and then we raised um, the money. And Ainsley, how did you help to raise this money this year? Well, I helped Kitty Ann with, uh, and I performed the bells with my sister. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel to have raised $805 for Project Share? Good. So the station has actually gone through a new ownership this year with Vista. So how did Vista become on board with the Good News Breakfast? I think it was just a given that the charity has been so important and big and successful in the past that there was no way you can't turn it down again. I mean, look how it's only it's only a little after seven, right? And it's already still it's already packed. So I mean, it's just one of those things that you know you have to do. And it's if you're if you have a chance to help out someone, it doesn't matter who you are, what company you're working for, you got to hop on that opportunity. As you can see behind me, the good news is still growing. However, Project Share still needs your help throughout the holiday season. To find out how you can help donate, log on to their website, projectshare.ca. In Niagara Falls reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.